Hi guys, this is Shah here, the Tech Borg, and today we're going to be making a program that's going to uh, output whether or not a triangle is isosceles, and we can uh, enter the three sides, so side 1, side 2, and side 3, and then it will output whether it's isosceles or not, and how do we check if it's isosceles? Well, two of the sides must be the same. So let's start with print isosceles triangle program, then we want to allow them to input, so I'm just going to keep it s1 to represent side one then input then two brackets and then write in side one and a colon and then s2 is equal to input side two okay and same thing for s3 which represents side three is equal to input uh, side three colon all right so now we want two of them to be equal so we want two of them to be equal but the other ones must not be equal so we can do this by doing if s1 is equal equal to s2 so it represents if side 1 and side 2 are equal then do that but we want to add an and statement so if side 1 and side 2 are equal and side 2 and side 3 are not sorry are not equal and so we don't want the other sides to be equal side one and two must be equal but side two and three cannot be equal and side one and three cannot be equal so we just change it to side one and then not equal to side three that's all you have to do and then you want to print isosceles there we go and i'm just going to copy and paste the same code again so it makes it easier for me uh, and now we have to change these sides so they match whichever side they enter. So we'll change this to side 2 and we'll change this to side 3. And since we change that to side 2 and side 3, we have to change this to side 1. So it doesn't allow an import of side uh, 2 and 1 as being the same. And we want side 1 and 3 to not be the same. So side 2 and 3 are the same, but side 1 and 2 are not the same and 1 and 3 are not the same. And again, over here, all we have to do is change this to 3 and change this to 1. Side 1 and 3 must be the same. And if side 1 and 3 are the same, then 1 and 2 cannot be the same. So 1 and 2 cannot be the same. And if side 3 and 1 are the same and side 1 and 2 are not the same, then side 3 and side 2 must not be the same. So side 3 and side 2. So, we want to add an elif over here, so we can add an else statement, so elif, elif, and then if and the, in the end, or I mean else, so else, and then you want it to print not isosceles if it's not, so not isosceles. Save this, and let's launch it. As you can see, it says side 1, let's enter 5, 5, and 0. As you can see, it, it outputs successfully that it is isosceles. Let's relaunch this, and then we can have side 5, side 4, and side 5, and as you can see it works again, it says isosceles, so this is how the program works basically, first you allow the three inputs, then you want to allow them, uh, allow specific type 1, so if side 1 and 2 are the same, that means side 2 and 3 cannot be the same, and side 1 and 3 cannot be the same, similarly it applies to the rest of these, if you understand the concept. And and that is it in this video and I shall relaunch it and show you how it out how it would output if it's not isosceles so zero zero uh zero. So it then it would output not isosceles, although it shouldn't allow an input of zero in the first place because you can't have a side that has zero centimeters. So I will show you how to fix that later on or in another video and thank you for watching guys. Like, comment and subscribe.